All right, what's going on everyone? This is Zen from Zen Multiverse and I hope you're having a great day. So today on Powers Discuss, we are discussing the powers of Morbius, the living vampire. So before we get into Morbius, time to hit that intro. You will never amount to anything. We shall see, brother. All right, so quick overview for Morbius. Morbius is a living vampire, but he's a pseudo vampire, but let me get into it. Um, so Michael Morbius is a biochemist, one of the most profound biochemists um, to ever, ever live. He received a Nobel Peace Prize for pretty much doing a lot of advancements when it comes to um, just uh, biotech, right? Biotechnology and just advancements um, for it. and. You know the thing about it is you might say like why you know people are smart in their own um sector of life and things of that nature but michael morbius has a, a blood um disease right and it causes degeneration um to the point where his blood will affect his body in a way where it'll start to break down now he decided to come up and research bats right and through his research of bats he decided to do a form of therapy in order to cure his blood disease right so this utilized this utilized a form of bat and also electrotherapy now through the combination it caused a mutation and the mutation spliced the dna of the bat and also his his human form and created a combination now this combination did cure the uh, the blood disease but what it also did is cause the the mutation that i spoke about before and it made him into a pseudo vampire that i mentioned earlier now a pseudo vampire meaning that it isn't a vampire that comes from the form of mysticism right kind of like if we're going back to the dark hold right where the first vampire came from in marvel comics but it's created through the process of science right so he does have some of the weaknesses, but he also has many of the strengths, right? Or better yet, he has he doesn't have a lot of the weaknesses, but he has many of the strengths of a vampire. So let's get into his powers. What kind of powers does he have? Well, if we look at his um, aesthetics and features, he has fangs. He has nails that are really sharp, right? That allows him to bite and claw, right? Just like any other animal who is who is a predator right who's going on their prey now you might say that's not really powers but well do you have all of these things we have teeth we have sharp pretty sharp teeth but um, we don't have kind of razor blade teeth and nails that are able to just cut into things right and he has this now he also has superhuman strength right his super his superhuman strength um is basically strength that supersedes the normal ability of a man or a woman right or anything that you and i identify as when we're, when we're talking about human physiology he is able to um lift or bench up to 1500 pounds which is quite a bit right now you might say well he's not on the hulk level but he's more powerful than you and i right <laughs> for, for lack of better words um but then now we combine it with some of the other attributes and then you could say wow okay 1500 plus all of these things are pretty phenomenal now he has super speed right now now i don't mean super speed like quicksilver but he has super speed in the sense where if you're about 30 30 meters away and you blink he could be right in front of you within that that time frame right now let's go a little bit further he has superhuman agility and superhuman reflexes right superhuman agility for talking about agility is being able to move from point a to point b the, in the most efficient way and when we're talking about reflexes how do you react in a specific situation in a way where your body basically takes autonomy right where you're not actually using your your direct cognition that your body will then adjust itself to the challenge at hand right if something is about to fall right a phone is about to fall and you whip out your hand real quick it's the the reflex right um your central nervous system is able to just move right uh, alongside your um 
peripheral um, nervous system. Now, what else does he have? He has durability into some form, and but really he has superhuman healing, right? Or super healing, right? Uh, imagine if we get a cut, right? Right now, we would have to wait a couple of days. For him, he gets the cut, it heals instantaneously, right? Why does it heal instantaneously? Is because he's able, because he is a, a vampire of sorts, he does feast on blood, right? And through that blood, he's able to utilize the plasma in the form to nourish um, his body, his bodily functions to heal, right? Which is pretty cool. Any other powers you might say? Yep, he does have other powers. He is able to, um, he is able to basically mesmerize, right? Or hypnotize others to, um, to bend to his will. Now, when I say bend to his will, not like the purple man in Daredevil or Jessica Jones, but he's able to, to mesmerize you in a way where you're just looking right and during that duration of time he can use that like a predator to then feast upon you to satiate his hunger right now you might say wow he sounds like a sounds like a villain he's not actually a villain right remember why i tell you he did this in order to cure himself right what came along with that transformation was the hunger that he had no control of or he has slight control over right um and in this he was able to basically turn the tides right in his mental state to say i will only do this right i will only feast upon the villains right i will only feast upon the bad guys but in the meantime i will search for a um a cure right while still helping people along the way so he's kind of like an anti-hero right now weaknesses, right? Usually on powers discussed, we don't really talk about weaknesses, but let's talk about a little bit of the weaknesses that he has. Now he does have a weakness to sunlight, but not like vampires, where if a vampire is in, immersed in sunlight, that they were explode into dust, right, or decay on a super fast rate. For him, he's just very sensitive, right? I think that's that's a better way to look at it. He's very sensitive to sunlight, where he needs to go into the darkness, right? Um, now, in terms of other weaknesses, well, I would say his biggest weaknesses, his biggest weakness would have to be the hunger or the thirst that he has for blood, right? Now, some of you might be confused if you're on the younger side or you're on my age. Some of you may have watched the old Spider-Man TV show on Fox Kids, right? A um, long time ago, and you might say, well, he never actually bit anyone. Well, they only did that. They augmented or they changed it. Not augmented is not the right word, but they only changed it to make it kid friendly, right? So in the TV show, basically, he had little suction cups, right? Where he he would basically put his hands on someone and basically take out the blood plasma, right? We didn't really see it, but that's what was happening. But in the comic books, originally, he is... He would use that mesmerization or hypnotism to then encapture, encapture, right, or capture his uh, his prey and then um, to bite them, right. Which leads into one of his other abilities that I didn't mention. He is able to turn others into vampires, right. Which, like any other vampires, that's what they do, right. Uh, but he doesn't try to do this often, right. Notice what I said. Um, now there's a difference between um, taking blood and doing a direct trans transformation, right? Um, a lot of people are confused about this when they even think about vampires. They think every time a vampire bites someone, they are going to transform. No, that's not the case, right? Feasting, right, and transfusions are very different, right? When he's feasting upon uh, his prey, another his, another human being, um, he's just taken in the blood from another right now when it comes to transforming another person into a vampire it is the direct um transfusion of the vampire or the pseudo vampire or in this case morbius's um blood right or um particles within him right the the um the plasma from his blood is directly going into the bloodstream of the person which then causes the mutation, right? So there's two ways, right? It's, it's like going in and then going out, right? When they're transforming, they're sending something from their body into someone else's body. When they're eating, well, they're taken in from the other body, right? So it's pretty cool. Now, 
You might say, well, is that it, Zen? He seems to have quite a bit of powers. He has another power, right? Um, he is able to psionically um, glide. Psionically? What do you mean, right? We're talking about uh, mental abilities. Yeah, he has a mental ability to to graft upon the air around him, right? Now, some of you who have probably watched the Morbius trailer saw something slightly different, right? Where he's able to kind of shift his body into um into fluttering features right on the skin in order to kind of glide on the air right but he's able to psionically do this where he's able to kind of glide with the air right create a certain barrier that kind of shifts the tide and the motion for him to glide pretty cool right so that means he has some kind of mental um faculties and abilities that allow him to glide on the air pretty phenomenal right now in the Morbius trailer for the movie, you may have seen him do something like teleportation, right? Um, that is still unknown, right? In this current video. So I'm going to do another video that does the powers discuss once we see the actual uh, movie itself. But in the meantime, those are the, the powers that he has for the comic books. So let me know what you think about Morbius. I know he has a ton of powers. And now you're probably thinking, well, Zen, that 1500 is coupled with all of those abilities makes him into a phenomenal and nearly unstoppable force of nature right and that's what he is right he's a force of nature at this point right but again he is not a bad guy right he's like an anti-hero right he, he will protect right it's just that in the beginning phases of trying to understand his abilities it was hard especially when you're hungry imagine when you're starving right starving is basically when you're you're in need of nourishment or food because you're coming to a place of near death right people will often confuse that and say like i'm starving no you're not actually starving you're pretty hungry right but imagine being starving and you're looking for food you need the food right so your instincts take over and remember through the process of his transformation he has brand new instincts right but with that being said, everyone, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you're enjoying the content and the breakdowns for powers, let me know in the comment section and I'll continue to do more. Later, everyone.